Let's do 10 Swedish words, Organs of the Human Body, Part 1. Oi! My name is not Sven, it is Martin. Yeah. And we start off with en hjärna, which is the center of the nervous system which functions to provide coherent control based on a lot of data from the rest of the body. Hypophys is an endocrine gland located at the base of the brain which affects organs in the body through hormones to control growth, blood pressure, sex organs, pain relief, among other things. Ett öga to ögon are the organs of visions which detect light and convert it into electrochemical impulses in neurons and through an adjustable assembly of lenses form an image together with the brain for visual interpretation. Now say that five times. Lep or leppar are muscles which control the intake of food and air and serves as articulation of sound or speech. Bihola or plural biholo is a group of four paired air-filled spaces that surrounds the nasal cavity. En mun is the opening for food and also issues vocal sounds. It is also used for intense breathing when the nose can't handle the amount of air. Motstulpe is an 18 to 25 centimeter long tube which travels behind the trachea and heart through the diaphragm and empties into the cardia of the stomach. Svall is part of the digestive and respiratory system. It filters, warms and moistens air before reaching the lungs. Struphuvud or voice box is involved in breathing, sound production and protecting the trachea against food aspiration. It manipulates pitch and volume and houses the vocal cords. Luftstrupe is a pipe that makes it possible for air to travel from the pharynx and larynx, the voice box, to the lungs. En lunga or to lungo are the primary organs of respiration by extracting oxygen from the atmosphere and transfer it into the bloodstream. Diaphragma is a sheet of skeletal muscle which as it contracts, air is drawn into the lungs. Sköldkörtel is one of the largest endocrine glands in the body consisting of two connect lobes in the anterior neck which secretes hormones affecting metabolism. And then we have B. Sköldkörtel. Normally you have four in your neck maintaining the body level of calcium. Et hjärta is a muscular organ divided into four chambers which pumps oxygenated blood from the lungs through blood vessels and back again. Blood shell are the part of the circulation system that transports blood throughout the body. And one of these is an artère, which is a blood vessel that carries blood from the heart, most of them with oxygenated blood. And then we also have veno, which are blood vessels that carry blood towards the heart, mostly deoxygenated blood from the tissues. Bres is located in front of the heart and produces T cells, which are critical to our immune system. Brustko is an arrangement of bones which encloses and protects the heart and lungs. Kvinnobrust are bigger for women because men produce lower levels of estrogen and higher levels of testosterone which suppress the developing breast tissue. And finally, en brustvota is a structure from which fluid emanates, most notably breast milk from females to children. Thank you so much for watching this uh, first part of the Organs of the Human Body. Part 2 can be found in the description of this video once it is uploaded. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again. Bye.